friendos, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it is a fantastic day to be alive because the Hourglass Satin Cream Finish Lipstick just arrived. We will be reviewing that first and foremost, and since that only takes maybe a couple of minutes to get through, well, friendos, I'm gonna do this eye look that you see right here for you guys on camera. This is featuring the Moonlit Seduction, the number nine Mothership palette from Pat McGrath Labs. So if you wanna stay around for that too, I'm happy to have you here. Without further ado, friendos, we're gonna get into all the fun. Just stay tuned. guys, today we have the Unlocked Satin Cream Lipstick from Hourglass. I got the shade Reef 320, and the reason that I picked out this one is a little bit on the darker side. And what I'm hoping for here is we test this to see if this really is a one swipe full coverage like it promises. So here's our packaging. We see the H with the little bunny. Comes out just like that. And that's the shape of it and that's how much we're getting in this tube and this does have a magnetic closure so i can feel it just clicking back into place so for right now i'm going to go in with my new isamaya lip liner this is the shade outlaw and this is from her wild star collection and i'm being messy today because i keep talking while i'm putting it on i'm not very smart <laughs> That's on very messily. All right, one swipe. No, this is not full coverage in one swipe. This is also not as red as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> You can definitely see it is see-through. It does feel really good on my lips though, I will say that. So while I use a brush to blend this out, I'll be on Sephora reading to you guys exactly what this product is. So this product claims to be an ultra hydrating lipstick that delivers high impact color in a single swipe with a satin cream finish. While the satin cream finish may be true, it definitely was not a single swipe product. This vegan formula delivers smoothing hydration and high impact color with a weightless feel. This collection supports NHRP's mission to unlock the cages of wild animals in captivity. Hourglass will donate 5% of the profits from all unlocked products to secure fundamental rights for animals. And it says clinical results based on a U.S. consumer evaluation study of 31 women. 100% said their lips look and feel smoother. 100% said their lips feel hydrated. And 100% said the product does not feather or bleed. All right, now to make out with myself because no one else will. Oh my. Yeah, so not transfer proof in the least. It didn't promise to be transfer proof, but just so you guys can see, we lost a lot there. <laughs> What I will say is this does feel very hydrating. It's very comforting. I don't see any peeling on my lips and my lips are peeling. So overall, I would say I'm pretty happy with the lipstick. Although I kind of had the feeling when they said one swipe color in a hydrating formula, normally that doesn't go together with a bullet lipstick, but this is hourglass and it was $38. So I thought maybe, maybe with that kind of price tag, it would live up to what they said it was. So now that the lipstick review is done, friendos, we are going to dive right into this eye look that you see right here. If you are with it, then just stay tuned. Okay, friendos, it's time to make this spectacular eyeshadow look happen and boom! It's been a hot minute since she showed her face on this channel, so it's time to get into the Mothership 9 Utopian Dream palette. So the look I'm going to create today is so super easy. So easy. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is dive into the Corally Peach shade. At this point, I've not tried my lipstick out and I'm really hoping this ends up matching. And y'all, this was one of the Pat McGrath palettes that I just felt like the quality of the shimmers just wasn't good. The shimmers are a little bit on the flaky side. Like they're not awful, but for $128, also, 
How do you guys feel about these Pat McGrath sales? Cause are they ever ending? It feels like it's just gonna go on forever. And every time it's cheaper and cheaper. It starts out and it's like, it's 25% off. Then you look 30, 35, 40. It's like, did the first two sales not work? I'm throwing some serious shade today. I don't know what's gotten into me. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. I know I am just sitting here and finally getting caught up on videos and being able to record for you all. Okay. Same brush, I'm stepping into the mauve -y shade right here, this little pinky mauve. I was thinking, you guys, you know, it's been a minute since I've done a Pat McGrath ranking video, and I think it's about time we do another one. Okay, now going in with my biggest of fluffy brushes, I'm gonna go right back into the coral shade that we started out with. Dust it off and then just try to lightly buff out everything. So a lot of you have been asking to meet my sister for a while. Let me know if you saw that video, what you thought of it. Do you want to have her back on and see some more wedding makeup or anything else? Just let me know. I just don't want this to be a thing where she turns into a regular. She's just on in every video and then she just takes over my channel. Cause I bet she would do that. Oh my kidding, I'm way too much fun to watch. Alrighty, next up I'm going to go in with the darkest and matte shade in the palette. And doing a little stamp and blend. I did feel like in this palette the mattes were definitely an upgraded formulation from some of her previous palettes. They're much more creamy. Feel more like a Natasha Denona matte than the original Pat McGrath mattes. Now comes the tricky part, putting down these shimmers. I'm gonna really have to spray up my brush to make sure I don't get glitter all over my face. Okay, going in with the blue purple shifty glittery one right here. <laughs> This one definitely takes some building up if you want that really vibrant, pigmented, purpley blue shift that you see in the pan. You just have to keep on putting in the work. All right, so we're finally getting there. We're finally getting that purple payoff pigmentation. Okay, so lastly, I'll be diving in to this little shade right here. It's sort of a pinky lavender with a definite gold reflect and the gold reflect is really what shows up on the eye it's time to spray and liner and lashes okay eyeshadow is done and we're gonna finish up today's look with the heffalump palette from hourglass so i will be diving in to this little pink in the peach, pink and peach, pink and peach. And now I'm afraid it's time for me to go live my life off camera. I really did enjoy spending my time here with you guys today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed your time with me. If you did, don't hesitate to give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this new satin cream lipstick, if you plan to pick one up, if you already did. If so, what shade you are planning to buy. I always like hearing your insights. And also, let me know what your favorite satin formulation of lipstick is. As always, I wish you all a phenomenal rest of your day, and please subscribe if you hadn't done so already, because if not, both have to live in the sorrow of never knowing what could have been. All right, guys, have a fantastic day. Bye.